Atomari Koto, let's roll in with the roll call. Donna. Yeah. Kia ora. Leo. Oh, hey, sir. Kia ora, Brittany. Yes, sir. Demetrius. It's Steve. OK. <laughs> See ya. Yep. Mose. Yours up. And, uh, Lewis. Lois. It's Lisa. Lois Buffett. Hello, Lele. My name is Amanaki Lele Presto Faletao, and I play Lisa in the film Inky Pinky Ponky. This is our talented cast. Today, you'll be chilling with us here at St. Valentine's High. Let's see what's coming up on the show. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, Fresh Fano, and welcome back to How Fresh Are You? High School Edition. Japan. They're not a Pacific guy. Okay. There are a few different topics that we cover within the show, being married to your beliefs and then how that changes as we grow older, and then just the rebirth of the oneself, and once you get there, it's an ongoing kind of journey. Is it a lolly or is it a fruit? <laughs> Are you so used to this? What kind of treat did this grow up on? This is a cast of Inky Pinky Ponky, and this is our world. Whoa, yeah. I know my name says Lewis on the roll, but I'd prefer if you called me Lisa, if that's okay. Inky Pinky Ponky is a love story. It's about a young Tongan lady who starts at St. Valentine's High. She falls in love with the first 15 captain, and it follows her journey. Oh my God. We have a new student. And her name is Lisa. <laughs> we can live it up like it it's actually been quite a journey. Me and the co-writer, Licky Jackson Burke, straight out the drama school, we decided to create our own work because we weren't getting any work. The first draft of the theatre full-length play that was written by me and Licky was in 2013. Moved to now, almost a whole century later, like it's a film. Well, how do I know this is for real? Have fun at the pool. The name Inky Pinky Ponky came from a medieval game they used to play with the knights, where they have like 20 love interests and they point at each other and they fall in love. <laughs> I don't know. No, oh, wow. Hey, trust them. Hey, kids, don't trust them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, uh, uh, I'm close. Are your friends okay? Inky Pinky Ponky, the name came from all of the relationships between the characters and how there's so much different love triangles that are happening. Mm. And so it's, it's this game of Inky Pinky Ponky, who's gonna be with who and who likes who and who hates who. Over there is Leo Schwalger, and he is so brainy. It's <laughs> still so brainy. Um, it is, it's like a nursery rhyme, but it's also like the entanglement between a group of people and also like being the odd one out. So it's my fourth school. I keep getting into fights for obvious reasons. It's a Catholic school, my bro. You wouldn't last a day in my shoes. <laughs> to be back in a boy's school uniform, I went into it thinking it wouldn't be that bad, but I think slowly started to trigger me a little. If you wanted to use my spray, you could have asked the oi. I mean, if you're gonna use the girls' toilets. Being back in a high school uniform, it didn't feel that strange because it was like only a couple years ago. <laughs> Why is everyone? <laughs> uh, everyone cheer or get out. It wasn't so much the uniform, it was being back in the environment of a high school and just remembering the politics, the drama, yeah, like the heartbreaks and stuff like that. Being on set was actually one of the funnest things. Is that Lottie Horsey? I looked forward to every day of filming, especially just being around with these guys. <laughs> Tell the truth. But yeah, I loved it. The cast and the crew really made it just more fun and exciting to shoot. Tell me the tea and all the tea. The advice I would give my character Sia would be not to make a boy your world. Through her heartbreak, she's kind of projected all of that heartbreak onto other people, and so her world starts to crumble. She loses friends and stuff, and I think it's really hard at that age because it's so easy to fall in love really quickly. Nice to meet you, Mose. 
Nice to meet you. No kiss kissy. Oh, eh? we're all quite silly when we're together, the cast, especially the, the six here. A lot of dirty jokes. Tell the truth. We're telling the truth. Oh, we're here to tell the truth. Everyone's trying to be inconspicuous with their staring, but they're wondering if before. I think one of the most memorable parts was, uh, I think, the car park scene for, for mm -hmm. me. It was, it was really hard to shoot, but I think just doing that whole scene with everybody in the cast. No way! Oh, oh, no. We had a chat later on and we realised just how big of a scene it was, so anytime I do think about Inky, I always think about just that scene and how we came together as a team, you know? So, aside from all the silliness that we are, we were able to pull off quite a serious scene. So, for me, most memorable. It's interesting what it means to be a bystander, eh? And how doing nothing is doing something in a way. Uh, just make sure that your actions reflect something that you won't regret. Um, and if it means stepping in or talking to your friends in an uncomfortable way, it, it might just mean that. We need to support her with everything she's going through. He is a boy. Advice I would give to Lisa is to quickly find the right time to have those tough conversations at home before you take them outdoors. I think it's important to create a safe space in your own home first with your family, whether that be your blood family or your chosen family. I think it's important that you have um, somewhere to go to when times are hard. Yeah, and just to also to remind yourself that everybody else around you is on a journey, that they're all learning as well. This whole time, your mum never knew. I hope the audience takes away just understanding and a perspective on the lives of young trans girls coming through high school, even people that may be different, they have feelings and emotions and the way that you behave or the way you treat others that often gives permission to people to behave in a similar way. So mm -hmm. for people to be um, aware of that. And for me, it's always been about giving understanding, providing another viewpoint for people to see and to be a lot more kinder to each other. Is that a chicken burger? Is that a chicken burger? Hey? Everyone knows the chicken burger is the most expensive item at the tuck shop. You only buy it for someone that's like legit, legit. I'd give my chicken burger to my fiance. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Well, I'll give mine to my husband. I would give it to my crush. Who? 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 <laughs> Love you, Matua. Yeah. I'm gonna give that to Jessica Alba. If you ever watch this, oh, oh my. Maybe even Jessica Biel. If you're, nice. I mean, if Justin's not making enough music, Jessica Alba. I would give my chicken burger to. Um... Oh, this is so weird. Wait, no, because I know he watches fresh. Yeah. No, don't make it a thing. Okay, I will give my burger hit to Stephen Adams. Oh, Stephen oh, Adams! Keep it fresh! I'm not seeing a lot of journal writing going on here, Fano. Hungry as Matua. I can't focus properly. Don't go anywhere because after the break, we keep it fresh with Black Race and we grab a fresh feed with Michael and Athens. I think it's, yeah, definitely important that there are experiences like this just to help provide access to our young Pacifica up and coming dancers or people that are interested in pursuing a career in dance in the performing arts. You wouldn't laugh today, my shit. Welcome back, fam. Let's get straight back to the freshness. Fresh. Fresh. Talo for fresh. Welcome to I, I am, am a Renaissance. Renaissance.
Hello, friend. my name is Rodney Tyrell. I am a dancer with Black Rush Dance Company. Malo Lele, my name is Lindsay Amula, and I am one of the dancers that are a part of Company B. Company B is a new initiative for freelancers, for pre-professionals, just to come in and get a taste of what the professional dance industry is like. I've been dancing since high school and there were auditions going around online. So I was like, yeah, I have to audition. So that's how I got into Company B. We just workshopped a lot of things and rehearsed and also had a lot of talanoas with each other and we kind of like came up with this piece. There are a few different topics that we cover within the show, being married to your beliefs and then how that changes as we grow older, and then just the rebirth of the oneself and once you get there, it's an ongoing kind of journey. It was cool. It was really inspiring seeing other Pacifica artists working towards one dream as well, just to bring this work to life. Reflecting back onto when I was coming up, there weren't that many opportunities such as this one just to come in and learn off someone that was in the industry. I think it's yeah definitely important that there are experiences like this just to help provide access to our young Pacifica up-and-coming dancers or people that are interested in pursuing a career in dance in the performing arts. All our talanoas definitely motivated and sparked that light just to create our own work, just to dance with other Pacifica artists, to create in ways where it's not the norm, our typical, but to think out of the box. And it was just definitely amazing experience. What I thought about it was really cool. I kind of saw like a lot of different character in the dance. It was very good and inspiring to do different moves, yeah. than just the normal ones. We need more initiatives like Company B, just to inspire and to push more of our Pacifica people within dance, because I know we don't get these opportunities much, so Company B has definitely inspired a lot of us and we definitely need more initiatives like this just so that the standard is always to a certain level or like we're always pushing as as Pacifica people within dance. It's been an awesome experience and can't wait to get into the show season and show the audience what we've got and then also improve on what we have and just keep getting better and better. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we hope to see you guys at our show. Keep it fresh. Malo Lele, I'm Michael. Talofo, my name is Athens. Welcome to Fresh Feeds, where we're going to try each other's snacks and see how we like them. You ready for this? Let's go. Let's do it. Alrighty, this snack is uh, lores yaina. Um, I grew up in Tonga, so we call these Chinese lollies. I used to eat them as a kid. Um, I really like them. These are what you call donuts. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna teach Dad what donuts really could be. So we're gonna give them a go. You wanna try one, Athens? Okay. I hate it and I like it. I'm not a fan of donuts. I really like them. Ugh. What flavor is this one? Vanilla, chocolate. It's too sweet. And I like it because of the sugar. Is it a lolly or is it a fruit? It's both. How are you so used to this? Like a plum. What kind of treat did this grow up on? It's a plum, but it's dried and it's got flavour to it. What's your favourite flavour donut? Chocolate. Do you get many donuts at home? No? Oh. <laughs> you know how you have problems going to the toilet? This is going to help you. Like? Flush your system out. Are you sure this is a lolly? Well, uh, technically, yeah. Uh... If we don't have donuts at home, where do you try this and you like it? 
Who gets them for you? Tell the truth. Who buys you donuts? Um... Why are you whispering? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll never tell. <laughs> are you enjoying today? Do you want some more donuts? Tommy's kind of rumbling. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, I like the Chinese lollies, but I'm not too sure about the donuts. I'll say that too, but the opposite. It's okay. I'll get you some more Chinese lollies so you can start to improve your taste on them, mate. Oh, I'm all of okay. Keep your hand off the remote because we've got plenty of laughs for you after the break. Period. Number one, the best stage, Samoan. Yes. Um, number two, Tongan. Yes. New Wayan. Yes. Rhode Island. Yes. Diversity stage. Yes. And Tongan. Oh, wait. Sorry. Ah! The real high school students are here and ready to use their skills on our favourite game show. Let's get into it. Hello, Fresh Fano, and welcome back to How Fresh Are You? High School Edition. Let's meet our schools all the way from Papa Toy Toy High School. William. Riani. I like it, nice and straightforward. All the way from Aurere College, AO's finest. Name's Takaro, keeping it fresh. Ashley. Hey! Got a swag over here, got a swag over here. All right, on to our first game. This is Rapid Fire! All right, you know the drill. I ask the questions. First one to the buzzer gets to go. All right, question number one. TikTok influencer and singer Evile Laloakta just released his single, Nights Like This. What Australian singing competition did he take part? I'll give it to Papa Toy. Voice, Australia. Excellent, well done, the voice. Our next question. You all know Rihanna, eh? Yeah, she performed on the 2023 Super Bowl halftime show. Who choreographed it? Paris Global. Well done, Earth. Next question. What are the six stages secondary students perform on in the ASB Polyfest competition? Aurere buzzed them first. Okay. Number one, the best stage, Samoan. Yes. Um, number two, Tongan. Yes. New Wayan, yes. Cook Island. Yes. Diversity stage. Yes. And Tongan. Oh, wait, sorry. Ah! Body stage. Yes! Oh! oh. Yes! Yes! And our final question. Singer Bella Kalolo has just joined the cast of the New Zealand soap opera Shortland Street. What year did the show air its first season? Long before you were born. 1990. Very close. That's what I guess. 1992. Congratulations, Papa Toy Toy High School. Taking out rapid fire. All right, off to our next game. This is Guess the Flag, where I hold up the flag and you have to guess which Pacific Island country the flag belongs to. All right, Ayo's up first. Chile. Mm. No. Right. Skip. Yeah. Skip. Is that Vanuatu? Oh, excellent. That's one. Good. Oh, Don't um, forget your time. Solomon Islands? No. Mm. no. It's a federated um, one. Skip. 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 No. No? What is that? Tahiti, sorry. Yes, yes, very good. Wow. Fiji. Pretty on to it. Okay, Fiji, Fiji yeah. yes. Oh. Uh, skip. Skip it. West Papua? Papua New Guinea. Very good. Well done. Um, Japan. 
Det er nok. Mm. Det er Skip, please. Skip the cornflakes. Mm. Skip it and just run through the skip yeah, pile again? Run through the okay. skip one. Yes. Can you give Nine. us a hint, please? Eight. Oh, seven. Wow. Um, six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Thank you very nice. All right, well done to Aurere College. Let's head over to Pap Toy Toy High School. Solomon Islands. Very good. Oh, Solomon yeah, Islands yeah, is but... one. Ooh. Lebanon? Mm. No. Skip. French Polynesia? No. Mm. Skip. Kiribati. That's two. American Samoa. Samoa. Well done. Solomon Islands? Mm. No. Skip. Everyone knows this one. Come on. Tukulau. Very good, it's okay, low. Ooh, one more. Skip, let's go for it. Right. Oh, okay. Kulak Island. Kulak Island, good. One. Last I one. Five. It's a beautiful. Four. It's a beautiful. Three. Two. One. Our winners. Papa Toyota High School. All right, these are for you two. Okay, a little something to help out with the bills at home. And that's it from us on How Fresh Are You? Do you know what it's like to be in a body that you can't connect to? St. Valentine's High. Thanks for hanging out with us and until next week. Keep it fresh! Talofo, my name is Wooster and I'm a music producer. Malo, my name's Solo. I'm a producer. Slash artist. Slash mix engineer. <laughs> well, right here in Sydney, our home, our world, let's dive in. I feel like for our people, the creative mentality has always been in our DNA. We've been doing that for time, for thousands of years. <laughs> <laughs>